Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our CLB Learning Training Call for Thursday, May 7th. I can't believe we're already well into the month of May. This whole lockdown has changed our concept of time, hasn't it? I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. Thank you, Don. it's so delicious. Mm. Uh, sorry to hear you had a challenging start to your day, Lisa. I hope you caught that video. Um, you know, deciding you're going to have a great day. And, and I got to tell you guys, I had a challenging start to my morning as well. Uh, I was, um, I don't know if I didn't have enough sleep. The cat came in awfully early. Uh, and I was just, I got up, I was achy. I had the grandkids yesterday, so I was kind of achy and sore. And I wasn't feeling good. And, and I just, I had to stop for a moment and really shake that off. Did it change how I physically felt? Not really. Uh, although it did, I got better. Um, but it changed the way I thought about it and I decided I was going to have a great day and I hope you guys are all having a great day too. Welcome to CLB Learning. You are about to discover a new way to grow your business online with one very simple focus. Can anybody tell me what that focus is? My name is Janet Leger, and along with my pot partner Don, we are your hosts each Thursday for these active training calls and we do a little bit of a presentation and then we get into our training. So we're really excited to have you here. Uh, we are recording this webinar so you'll be able to watch the replay if you missed the live call or if you just want to refresh yourself on the training. On our agenda today, we're going to have a little bit of a, well, uh, a who are Janet and Don Legere, who we are, where we came from, why you'd even want to follow us or listen to us. We'll talk about what is CLB learning and how it works. It's really a very simple process. It's nothing new. There's nothing ingenious or um, what should I say? It's not like we are so different from everybody else other than What's different is that Don and I are here. Yes, there's no magic to this. It's not a magic button. It's common sense and it works. We're gonna do a little bit of team recognition for those that are sponsoring regularly into CLB. You guys are awesome. And then we'll get into our training portion of our call today where we're gonna be talking about the CLB Facebook strategy. And I'm really excited about today's call because more and more I'm realizing how important social networks are and it's funny because I've met a lot of people who really hate Facebook. Like, I mean, they hate Facebook. That's a strong word. They refuse to go on Facebook. They don't want anything to do with Facebook. They just can't stand it. And I'm, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I know that I can control, number one, what I see on my feed, what I read on my feed. I can control my friends. I can control who sees what. And if you take control of it, it's a pretty cool environment, don't you think? It's a great place for marketing. It really is. And that, you know, the truth is, all right, the truth is the people who hate Facebook are not doing business. All right. They're just getting bombarded with stuff and, and, you know, spam and all that. So I can understand why they don't really care for Facebook. I like it because I can keep up, you know, family and friends that are far and few and far between. I, I can keep top tabs on them and what they're doing and follow their families. And that's pretty cool. But for business, it is powerful. Absolutely incredible. Whether it's Facebook or LinkedIn Instagram, any of those other programs out there, okay? The process pretty much is the same. We're gonna be talking about that today and talking about how you can use this strategy with any social network out there. How does that sound? Because I know there's a lot of people here, not, not here, but there are a lot of people who don't like Facebook, who refuse to use Facebook, who won't go on Facebook. And, and I get it, okay? I also know, I know personally that if Facebook is an issue, it's because you're allowing it to be an issue. And so we get to control what we do on Facebook, okay? And that's something really important to remember. Thank you, Christopher. I'll look for that and make sure that I accept your friend request. Well, let's get started, shall we? With a little bit about who Don and I are and where we came from. Don and I actually met online back in 1998. That seems like forever ago. In fact, um, Forever is, is a wonderful word because it does feel like Dawn has always been a part of my life. And we have a pretty good life. As this picture dic dictates, we're a pretty fun-loving couple. We do enjoy uh, working from home. Back in 1999, we found ourselves with the opportunity to be away from the corporate world. Uh, we were both corporate 
employees and I got to tell you that being away from the corporate world was the best thing we ever did. Coming on the internet, again, the best thing we ever did, the best choice we ever made. It has been quite a journey. Since 1999, Don and I have found ourselves to be successful in many affiliate and network marketing opportunities. Wherever we plugged our hat, wherever we laid our hat, we became successful. Why? Well, one simple reason, and that is the whole focus of what we need to be doing online, and that is building your list. Because I work to build a list, right from day one it's something that i started doing very early on and realized back in 2003 how important that list really really was because in 2003 the company that we were promoting closed its doors so we went from earning a full-time income to earning no income overnight and it was a pretty scary situation i must say um and so because i was an accountant being having an accounting background made me the easiest to be employed. And so I got a job, within a week I had a job. Yuck, anyway, within, within 30 days, I knew that I had to be away from that job. I was not employable. And that was when we put together a strategy for me to be out of there. And, and within two months I had given my notice and I was, I was done. So I only worked for three months. But in that time, I put together the very first Contact List Builder ebook. And I realized I had everything I needed to grow a business online, to stay home, to help others do the same. And I've been doing it since then. So CLB has developed into a community of members working together to help you build your business. That's what we're doing. We're working together to build our list, to connect with people, to build those relationships, to build a good, strong business using the internet to get those leads. And it's not as hard as most people make it out to be. And, and I know there are people online who struggle and I understand the struggle. The struggle comes from the enormous amount of information that's out there on the internet. Would you guys agree? The enormous amount of information on the internet is, is um, well, if I was a new person coming online today, I'm not sure how it would be, okay? I would really hope that I could meet someone like me that could take me by the hand and direct me along a path that made sense. Because the internet is so full of information, there are so many people selling so many things that it can be really confusing and you don't know where to start. And where you need to start is where with a very simple process. CLB is a training and mentoring program with very simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to build your list fast. Without this, nothing else matters, whether it's online or offline. You need to have a list of prospects. You need to have people to introduce your business to. Do you guys agree with that? It's your number one activity. It's the number one thing you need. Now there's other things you need. You need to build relationships. You need to do all kinds of things. The learning curve never ends. There's always something to learn. However, at the beginning of the, at the end of the day, what you really need is a list. You need a list of prospects. We help you master the skills that you need to grow your business online through our CLB funnel system, allowing you to earn while you learn. What this means, very simply put, is that when you plug into our system, we take all the pain away. If you just follow what we teach you, and it really is as simple as we lay it out, okay? And if you follow that, you're going to start to see activity in your business. You're going to start to see things happen. You're going to find that you're learning things you really may never have thought you could learn. It becomes a fun place to be because you're not overwhelmed with so much to do and so much to learn. And I know anybody who's been online for any length of time can tell you how confusing this place really can be because there is so much how do you filter through all the stuff that comes on your in your email inbox and on your timeline on the social networks it's incredible so here's how clb works and it really is this simple okay you set up your capture page your funnel which we give you all the share codes to do that it's a very simple simple process even for a brand new newbie shouldn't take them more than an hour to set up if you have experience i would say half hour maybe less. What takes the most work is editing the email autoresponder letters and just putting in your information and updating it with your picture, things like that. But it, it really doesn't have to be a big process. Once that's done, that's, that's done. You don't have to do that again. Your system is set up. Now you send traffic to your capture page. 
And we show you how to do that in our report. We use Udemy solo ads and we use the uh, Traffic Lease Income Co-op, which is really, really uh, a great way to do it. And we also show you how to use Viral Mailer. So there's three ways that we really focus on. We also teach you about Facebook marketing, which we're gonna talk about today. Social marketing, we should call it. Uh, so once you start sending traffic to your capture page, you're gonna start developing leads. People go to your page, they fill out the form, People love to fill out forms. It's one thing I found on the internet. It's never a challenge to get people to fill out your form. The challenge is to find the people who are becoming active. And that is what is so incredible about our funnel. Once they fill out the form, they become your subscriber. They're on your list. They are yours. I don't see them. I have no idea they've even filled out that form. On the next page, which we call a landing page or a thank you page, they are introduced to CLB Learning. So they're either going to have our a replay of our webinar that introduces CLB Learning, or they're gonna have an, an invitation video from you, um, which we do encourage you to do. We've done some training on that, on how to record your own video and invite your prospects to become a member of CLB Learning. On that page, there's a link for them to join for free. Once they become a member, that's where the magic happens. That's where duplication happens. And that's where I take over. So as part of CLB, what we do is we encourage them to download the CLB Quick Start Guide and follow the steps to do exactly what you just did. Do you get that? So you spend the time setting up your system. You advertise your system. And when people come through the system, they're encouraged to set up their system, to advertise their system and duplicate exactly what you're doing. When that happens, when they sign up for the programs from our downline builder, they're gonna sign up in those programs under you. So they're gonna sign up in the Conversion Pros, in Udemy, in our mailers, Traffic Leads to Income Viral Mailer. The programs that, that we use to get traffic and build our systems are in our downline builder. The best part about CLB Learning, and one of the things that I think set, sets us apart from a lot of the other programs out there, is that you have the ability to put your own business, your own program, your own website in our Downline Builder. And so what this does is encourages your new members to check out what you're doing. And we encourage them to do that. So when I'm sending out emails, if I'm sending an email out to the database, I can include the link to your primary business when I'm talking to them about primary businesses. If I'm talking to them about sending Udemy solo ads, I can include your link in that email. Who here thinks that's pretty incredible? I'm doing the marketing to your CLB members for you. What are you gonna do? Well, number one, you're gonna continue to send traffic to your funnel so that you develop more and more of those leads. But this is where the fun comes in because getting traffic to your website every day is not something that takes 12, 14 hours a day. It really and truly doesn't. Where you're going to be spending your time is building those relationships, is connecting with the people who come through your list, is, is, is reaching out to them and introducing them to your business, making friends. It's amazing what happens when you start to network with the people who come through your system. Once you become a member, we encourage you to um, and your members to join our Telegram group. And if you haven't done that yet, make sure that you do log into the members area. You'll see the link there. It says, click here to introduce yourself. Come and say hi to our team. It's where you can get help just about 24 seven. So we're always there to help you guys. Then we have the link there directly on that page to download the three-step guide. Very simple. Now below that, there's other information to join our Facebook group, to come and like our Facebook page, to follow us on our YouTube channel, and little simple things like that that help you get your business going. On the left-hand side, you're gonna, they're gonna find instructions on how to get started, uh, where, to, where to get going, but everything is in the guide. So we walk them through everything they need to make this business work for them. We also offer an upgrade at CLB Learning. While our system is free and it works as a free member, you get access to all of our training, access to our live webinars, access to our Telegram group. When you upgrade, you get access to a lot more. Number one, our CLB blogging platform, which is an incredible add-on, I think. 
I think personally, because the, the CLB blogging platform is connected to your CLB links and, and it's your blog. You can edit it, you can change the themes. There's limited editing because it is a, uh, a community blog. So we all have a blog on contactlistbuilder.com and it really is a, a way for you to start branding yourself. And even if you already have your own blog, your own website, it's okay because you can be working the two together and uh, curating your content from one to the other. Also included is the quick start guide branded with your affiliate links. And you'll see today when we get into our training, how important this really can be because you can give away that report to your members. You can give away that report. Uh, you can create a capture page to give away the report, but you can give it away on Facebook and on your social networks to encourage people to come and learn what you do. And the beauty of that is, is that as an upgraded member, when you download that report, it is filled with all of your affiliate links. So think about this. If you're giving it to somebody who's brand new, they don't even know what CLB Learning is in there, they can join CLB Learning with your affiliate link. They can join the Conversion Bros with your affiliate link. All the other programs that are in the Downline Builder are included. We do it. There's training in the Quick Start Guide on how to use them. And when they join those programs, they'll join under you. Do you see the incredibleness of being an upgraded member? I hope you do. You also have the ability to email your personal downline. So as you begin to grow CLB Learning, you can log into your members area where the referrals are and you'll see a link there to email your members direct from the back office. There's some special downloads. There's a Think and Grow Rich package, the science of getting rich. You also get top upgrades plus bonus credits at our two viral mailers, Genie Mail and PG Co-op. There's some one-on-one -on -one coaching and there are three affordable options to choose from. If you have any questions, please feel welcome to contact me and I'd be happy to talk to you about upgrading in CLB. There are three basic steps to making this work and whether you're doing this with CLB Learning or you're doing it with another funnel system or your own funnel system, it doesn't matter. It works. All right, so set up your funnel Hopefully you're setting up your CLB funnel because it really does work. Advertise your capture page, that's number two. Follow up and follow through, number three. Now remember, number one, you only have to do once unless you're gonna be creating new funnels, which we encourage you to do here as well at CLB. But initially, you're gonna create one funnel, you're gonna get traffic to that funnel, and you're gonna follow up and follow through. You're gonna spend your time sending traffic to your capture page and following up and follow through. That's your job. Who here thinks that sounds pretty simple? It sounds simple because it is simple. It really and truly is as simple as we have listed here. Where the confusion happens is when you get distracted and you start reading all these posts on Facebook or you start opening all those emails or you start looking at all the programs that come through the viral mailers. There are a billion and one programs out there, okay? The challenge is to stay focused on what you need, focused on what you're doing. Does that make sense? Focus is incredibly important and so challenging here online. I get that, okay? Because there's so much to take your focus away. So now we're into the recognition time, favorite time of, my call, of our calls. Uh, this is just for the new month. So we, last month we had an incredible month. We grew by over 100 members, which I love to see the activity in our group. So this is just for the last week since the 1st of May. Scott Gordon already with eight referrals. And I can tell you, he has co-op shares with Traffic Least Income Viral Mailer, and I believe he has a, a solo ad that's out, out running that he just started. So eight new members in the last week. Rob Gearing with three, Wayne Randall with two, Michael Kamari with one, David Clark with one, and Motus Ruluka with one. So congratulations, everyone. You guys are rocking this business, and I'm really excited to see the results we get as the month continues. So let's get started on our Facebook strategy. I'm really excited about this training today. You know, the funny thing is the universe always gives you exactly what you need when you need it. Have you noticed that? If, you're, if your mind is in the right way, if you're thinking correctly, if you've got your vibration turned on the way it should be, things are gonna come easily to you. And so this morning as I was putting our webinar together and uh, you know updating my PowerPoint and going through uh, what I was going to be teaching and doing and just refreshing my mind, I was on Facebook going through my uh, notifications and there were a few people who had requested 
to be friends. And just like I'm going to teach you here how to, how to do that, uh, you know, I went and checked their profile and I had a look and, you know, the one fellow seemed quite interesting. I was, you know, curious about what he was doing. And so I, I, I accepted his friend request. I posted on his timeline and thanked him for the friend request. I sent him a message through Facebook message at Messenger and thanked him for the friend request and he responded. And we got talking, we were you know, sharing a, a, some ideas and, and just having a little conversation. And he asked me if I'd be interested in a, in a report that he has on Facebook strategies. <laughs> See what I mean? I mean, just like that. And so I, you're gonna learn about the report today. I, I'm gonna get you a copy of it. Um, it goes through in detail how to use Facebook every day as, as a great marketing tool but what you can do also is adapt any of these strategies to all the other social networks out there. Okay, you guys re realize that? So if you're, most of you I think are with LinkedIn. And so if you're with LinkedIn, you can do the same strategy there. You can connect with people, check out their profiles, etc., etc. Yeah, what you look for also looks for you. It's the magnet, it's your vibration. I mean, I was looking for more ideas and I was putting things together and boom, there it was and I thought, brilliantly put and it went in line it was fully in line with everything that i was teaching you guys with everything it just gave me a few more ideas and a few more tips so we're going to talk about what the facebook strategy is what we do and how often we do it let's get started the facebook strategy is simply using facebook pages and groups to find prospects to connect with and share the clb philosophy or anything for that matter I recommend you start with CLB. It's a good place to bring people in, right? It's non, um, non-intrusive, non-invasive. We're not competing with their, their primary business. In fact, we're giving them an opportunity to have an environment where they can promote their primary business. So sharing CLB philosophy really gives you a doorway in to other people's uh, lives and gets them interested in what you're doing. So let's talk about the strategy. From your Facebook pages or groups, you're gonna visit the timeline of people who post comments or topics. I can tell you guys, as we go through this, you're gonna think this sounds like a lot of work. And uh, it is, all right, it can be a lot of work. Once you get into a routine, you know, you get used to doing it. You really gotta be careful on Facebook because if you're out there, post, 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 they're gonna put you in Facebook jail. Boom, they don't like you doing that. So you gotta be, you know, spread it out through the day. Uh, just don't go out there doing like post, 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 post. Make sure you're, you're thinking about it, you're spending your time, because I can tell you something that if you spend your time doing this, number one, I'm gonna suggest an hour, maybe two hours a day focused on this strategy. If you were to do that every day, I can tell you that you will have incredible results. And whether you're doing this on Facebook or LinkedIn, or any other social network out there, it's the same process. You're going to go to pages or groups where people post, you're gonna find people, you're going to go and look at their timeline, you're gonna click on their about section, find out who they are, find out what, what they do, what, what are they posting on their timeline? What are they doing, like, you know, do they have much in their about field? Do they have much on their timeline? Do they have much in their um, profile? Check them out, is this somebody that, Number one, could use what we're doing. Is this somebody who would have any interest? Are they even marketing on Facebook or is this just a personal thing? Right? You can tell pretty quickly as you're going through and connecting. If there is a connection, okay, if, it, if you feel a connection to somebody that, whose profile you're seeing, reach out to them. Go on their timeline. Uh, now, some people don't allow you to comment or look at their timeline unless you're friends. So one or two things is gonna happen. You're either going to be able to comment on their timeline or you're going to add them as a friend. Remember, you can always remove somebody as a friend if it turns out this was not a good connection. Go to their timeline, comment and like some of their posts. So if they have pictures, motivational things, you can, com you can like it, you can comment on it. If it's something you can share, if it's a, a meme or something, you can share it on your timeline, do it. Why? Because when they see your friend request, they're, they're going to see that you've been commenting on their posts. You, you all know this, right? In Facebook, Facebook tells you when somebody comments on your post, right? There's little notifications up there. 
in your menu to tell you everything that's going on. It tells you when somebody sends a friend request, it tells you when there's birthdays, tells you all kinds of things. These are things that you use to connect with people. On a daily basis, go down your friends list of, of friends and start a conversation. I got, I got that, that's too many friends in there. Down your list of friends. <laughs> you could also, another way to find new people is to look at your friends, friends. Think about that one. I can go to uh, Katie's um, profile and check her list of friends. Sometimes we'll have friends in common, but I can see people that I don't know and I can see them posting on their timeline and I can follow what they're doing and then I can go look at their profile and have a look at what they're doing. So there's so many ways to connect to people on Facebook. The challenge is number one, what do we say? Number one, how do we say it? And we're going to get there. So here are some things that came from uh, Bill's uh, PDF file that I'm going to include with you. Your daily uh, activities that you're going to do here. You're going to post one to three times a day on your personal wall to demonstrate results, value, and leadership. All right. So what does this mean? This means you're going to get excited about things that are happening. You're going to, you know, maybe post about the CLB webinar coming up, or maybe you're going to post about the replay. Maybe you're going to post a motivational uh, meme. Maybe you're going to post a motivational video, uh, something exciting. Um, maybe you're just going to post something you're thinking about, thoughts you're thinking about. What it's going to do is it's going to attract people to come and like and comment on your posts. And you know, when people do like and comment on your post, did you ever think of going to follow up with those people? Hey, Joe, I saw you just liked my, my motivational posts that I had. I thought I'd reach out and say hi. Think about that. Like and comment on other people's posts. I recommend you spend some time every day doing that selectively. Okay, don't just go post on everybody's timeline. Uh, but you're, you're going to get a, a notification when people are posting. Uh, go down your friends list and go look at their walls. Different people select different people every day that you're going to go and like something on their time on their timeline comment on something on their timeline what that's going to do is they're going to get notification that you reached out to them and they may reach out back to you or if you send a friend request or you send them a facebook message they're going to put the two together they're going to see that you've been commenting on the timeline you're an active person they're going to take a little more interest you're all of a sudden not a complete stranger how many of you do your happy birthday posts? Did you know that Facebook tells you when it's everybody's birthday that's your friends? So everybody's on your friends list when they it's their birthday, Facebook tells you. So you can go and say happy birthday to them. You can send private messages to at least 10 new friends a day. Anybody here do that? I'm connecting with new people every day. It's, it, it, it can take time, but this is time well invested, believe me. Follow up with 10 friends via private message. Go through your friends list, send them a message, follow up with them, see what they're doing, check their timelines, like their posts, check out your newest friends. Now let's talk, talk about those conversations. It's one thing to go and like people's posts and it's one thing to go and, you know, send a message. But how do you keep this conversation going? And I know this is a challenge for many of you, right? Am I right? What do I say? How do I say it? My God, what if they answer me back? Whoa! Well, we're going to make it easy for you. I'm going to tell you guys, you're going to love this PDF file I give you because it's, it lays it all out for you. So here we go. I want you guys to start thinking about this as you start to journey through your profiles on Facebook and start looking at what people are doing. Now, these are all sending a private message. This isn't post. You don't post these on someone's timeline. You're going to go to their timeline and you're going to click that messaging tab, which is Facebook Messenger, and you're going to send them a private message. You can do this on your computer or your phone. I tend to, I prefer to work Facebook from my computer because I got a little more access to the keyboard. So here's one. Hi, name. Let's, let's give some, we're going to use Lisa. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Thanks for accepting my friend request, which is what I did this morning with Bill and the rest is history. <coughs> Pardon me. Hi, Lisa. 
I saw your post in XYZ group and thought I'd reach out to you. How long have you been with XYZ? Think about that. You see them in a group. How long have you been a part of that group? If they're promoting another business, how long have you been with that company? Hi, Lisa. You're on my friends list here and I thought I'd reach out to you. So this is doing the strategy of reaching out to 10 people a day on your friends list. And if you don't have many friends, then get out there, reach out and make friends. You can do that through the groups. We're going to show you a little bit about that today. Hi, Lisa. I noticed on your profile that you're with XYZ Company. How long have you been with them? A lot of people do post their companies on their profiles. You know, you can put your links in there. Some of them, you can tell from their timeline, post that they're with a certain network marketing company or affiliate program. Anytime you see somebody posting about a business, this is how you can respond to them. I see you're with XYZ Company. How long have you been with them? Or just, hey, Lisa, thanks for connecting. What do you do for a living? Isn't that a great question? Because a lot of people you can't tell from their timeline and you can't tell from their profile. They don't put stuff like that on there. And so you can ask them, what do you do for a living? Good afternoon, Lisa. Anything special planned today, my friend? So this is to reach out to people who are already on your friends list, maybe people you've connected with and haven't chatted with for some time. What's on your plan today? You may not want to put my friend, maybe they're not a close acquaintance. Just, hey, anything special planned today? It gets people talking. Lisa, how's it going today? I have a quick question. I noticed XYZ on your timeline and mentioned something about their profile and asked them about it. Is any of this helping? Hey, Lisa, I hope you're having an amazing day. How's life been treating you? That's pretty generic, isn't it? It gets the conversation started. What I really want you to understand here is the best way to build relationships online on social networks, the best way to get people to connect with you is to ask lots of questions. So when they come back and they answer a question, ask them another question about that. Hey Lisa, nice to meet you. What's going on in your neck of the woods? <laughs> Now more than ever, that's a really appropriate question to ask, isn't it? How are things in your neck of the woods? I mean, I didn't put this on here, but a question you can ask is, you know, um, has anyone in your, in your circle of influence been affected by the virus? I can ask all you guys here. Do you know anyone? There are people who are affected by it. It's a conversation. Hi, name. I see you liked my post about XYZ. Do you have a few moments to chat? This is a favorite of mine, so I'm going to sneeze. Maybe not. I think I foregoed it. Mm. Hopefully I don't. <laughs> I can just feel it tickling my nose. So when somebody comes to your wall, when you post on your wall, and let's say you post about a product you're using or a service you're using or a tool you have or anything, and somebody likes your post, you can go and send them a message and say, hey, I saw you liked my post. Do you have a few moments to chat about it? This is especially effective if you're posting something about a product or a service that you're using because you can get back to them and connect with them about that product. You can find out what they're looking for. You can ask them questions about what's going on in their world that will relate back to your product or service. And thank you, Michael, I appreciate that. Here's some more questions. So if you notice that they are in a business or they come back and they say, I'm, I'm in XYZ business, you can say, is that your first online business or have you tried other things before? It's a different way of saying, are you successful? Have you had any success? Are you making money? Those are questions you don't really want to ask. But asking, is this your first online business or have you tried other things before is a great way to start. And just keep asking questions. What do you do full time while you are, do while you are doing that? What do you do full time while you are that? Uh, that question, I think I screwed up. I must have copied it wrong. <laughs> So, I mean, it basically means what are you doing outside of business? So if you're building a business online, what are you doing as a full-time business? I think is what that question is supposed to say. I'm just curious, how are you getting your leads and prospects for your business? 
This is one another one of my favorite questions because if you connect with somebody that's in XYZ business, and there's a lot of networkers online, a lot of people in other network marketing companies um, and other businesses selling other bit programs and services, and that's okay because really our approach is to come to them for something that's gonna help them with their business, right? In that, as you build a relationship, those people who think they're in another business may decide they'd rather be in yours. Does that make sense to you guys? So you have to approach them from a uh, perspective that you've got a tool for them to get leads for that business. So how are you getting leads for, and prospects for your business? Two things are going to happen here. They're going to be an open door for you to offer them your quick start guide, or they're going to be using a tool or resource you've not heard of and you may want to look at it. Be careful there, all right? I want to caution you not to get that shiny object syndrome. If you connect with a prospect who is using a tool that's bringing them a lot of leads and good leads for their business and you want to look at it, number one, it's okay to go look at it, but do it, you know, only give it a certain amount of time. Decide fairly quickly if this is something that you would like to use for your business. And if you decide that you do want to use it and you join it, then use it. This is what happens when people join other programs. They join it, they pay for whatever it is they're paying for, and there it sits. They don't use it. The other thing is that as soon as you do that and you start using it, you want to add that as an evergreen message in your autoresponder follow-up messages. So you want to send a broadcast saying, look at this new resource I'm using. I'm pretty excited about it. And you want to write a follow-up message to be included uh, for your, your prospects that you get in there so that they can start learning about what you're doing and it starts selling your programs and services without you having to sell them. You're just recommending them to your list as they start to receive your follow-up messages. And what happens then is you start to get that income coming in. Now, I'm of the frame of mind, if you join a program and you pay for it, all right, you've paid for an upgrade in a program or you've paid for products or services, you need to get that program paying for itself. So don't go out and join 10 different programs and like hope that they're just gonna work. One at a time, join the program, get it set up, figure out how to use it, and then share it with your lists. Share it out there so that you can have that program paid for. Doesn't that make sense to you guys? It's a pretty incredible idea, isn't it? I'm so glad that you're helping. And you know, Lisa, isn't that awesome? When people are pitching you right out the gate, it's awful, isn't it? But here are some questions that you come back at with them with. How are you getting leads? Hey, that looks like a great business. How long have you been with the company? How are you generating leads? I mean, we, we, we tend to get very negative when people prospect us on social networks because they do it very vehemently. Like they're just, they're crazy about it, right? We like to call them spammers. But if you, a lot of people really don't know, okay? So they haven't been taught the right way to do it. That's number one. Number two, if you come back at them with questions, you're gonna know right away whether this is somebody brand new in the business, you know, they just throw those links out there. That those people really need your help. Whether they're experienced and they know what they're doing, which is unlikely because if they're sending you their links on Messenger, they're not, you know, that's not somebody who's really experienced at doing this. So it just opens the door for you, but you'll know right away whether this is somebody who's going to benefit from what we're teaching here or not. Not everybody is a good candidate because not everybody's going to follow the training, right? Lisa says, I thank them, tell them it sounds interesting, but my plate is very full right now and I'm not taking on anything, but I will be happy to look at when what they're doing. So what I recommend, Lisa, is just say, hey, thanks. Like just instead of saying, "I'm my plate is full and I'm not interested, it, it's not, it's not um, critical that you tell them that up front. Just say, hey, that looks interesting and start asking questions. Because realize, Lisa, that whatever it is they're prospecting to you, they're going to need a system. They, they could do all, everybody can use what we're teaching here at CLB. And so a different approach is to say, hey, thanks, that looks really interesting. How long have you been with the company? And what are you doing to get leads? So you don't even have to, you can click the link, go look at it. 
and, and you could tell right away whether it's you know a travel business, a, an MLM with, with health and wellness products, um, a network marketing company that sells a product or service. You know, we got, there's so many network marketing companies out there. You can tell fairly quickly whether you know it's a long-term company or not or whether they're very serious about what they're doing. Um, but really it's more to find out how are they marketing that business? Because if all they're doing is spamming everybody on Facebook with their links, that's not going to work very well for them, right? So that's, you know, turn it around and ask some questions. How long, are, how long have you been with that company? And at some point, if they ask you, are you interested to say, um, actually, my plate is quite full right now. And I'm really focused on helping people. This is how you can approach that. I'm really focused on helping people learn different ways to get leads for their business. So it allows you to distract them from their primary business. It allows you to step back from your primary business because you don't, you know, that they're in something else. So they may not be interested in yours yet. That's why you want to bring them in through CLB so that you can backdoor them to your primary business, right? Everybody's a prospect, but you have to be able to um, decide fairly soon whether the person you're connected with and talking with is actually a good prospect, okay? Like our, and you could tell, can you? How are you guys at, when you're having a conversation, can you tell whether that's somebody you wanna to continue to talk with or not? I mean, I, it's, that's a, it's a good question to ask, I think. Can, can you tell when you're having a text conversation whether that person seems like somebody that you wanna to continue to have a conversation with? Because getting out of the conversation is another challenge, right? So you can just, at some point, if you know, the conversation really isn't going where you want it to, you can simply say, you know, I really appreciate your time. Uh, let's connect again down the road, right? Just let them know you really appreciate their time and you have to go, you have an appointment or, or something and that let's connect another time. So here are some more uh, questions. There's a lot of questions. Aren't you glad we're recording this? <laughs> I may make a list of all these questions and just put them on the uh, with the replay because I think that would be helpful, right? It's nice to have a list of things that you can ask. It triggers your memory when you're in that conversation because isn't that what happens? You get into a conversation and your mind goes blank. You're like, oh, okay, what can I come back with? What should I say? What should I say? What is your best method for generating leads? Do you use funnels to generate leads? And if they say yes to these and any of these questions, ask them what they're using. It's okay. And at some point you can just say, that's awesome. I wish you continued success. You don't have to say you're not interested. You don't have to turn them down. You just say, I wish you continued success. But here's my favorite. And here's what I really want to encourage you to do once you make that connection with somebody. If they're in another business, in fact, if they're in another business, all the better because you can approach them and say, may I interest you? in a free report that helps you generate leads for your business. Now remember, if you're an upgraded member at CLB Learning, that report is going to be populated with all of your affiliate links. And so you'll be able to give them that report. They can read the report. They can learn about what CLB Learning is. They can see our funnel process that we have, which you know they can use that those strategies and they may join those programs to do what you're doing. How does that sound? Sound like a pretty simple process? So I really want to thank Bill Soriano. He's my new friend on Facebook. Uh, we got talking and I love his approach and I'm, I'm really learning a lot from his approach. He was a little long-winded. He, he must have things on a that he copies and pastes because it was like this long, this text chat. Right? Because he's telling me he was partnering with somebody new about a, a coffee business. And I'm, I said, sure, show, send me your information. I'm not interested in the business, but um, I'm interested in how he's prospecting for it. See, there's a difference. So there's the website. I'm just going to type it in here for you guys. So if you want to go and download this report, you're going to find it very helpful. And we're going to go into... There we go. Okay, so there's the link. Can't talk and type at the same time. Um, I'm going to go into desktop sharing and I'm going to go over to Facebook and we're just going to go into some, I want to show you where to find groups and where to find people and, and how to go to somebody's profile and see what they're doing. So we're going to do that fairly quickly here and uh, see what we, what kind of trouble we can get into. <laughs> 
All right. So here we are in Facebook. So this is, I guess, what you'd call my my Facebook feed. So you'll see that we go down here and it's, you know, everybody who's been posting. So this is what you call your feed, right? So this is all the information's here. And I got to tell you guys, this is how I scroll through this. And sometimes I'll, I'll stop and read something. Sometimes I'll, you know, but I, I mean, right now I'm just scrolling through to show you. So some are ads and some are different things, right? So this is a, a group that I'm a part of. And so you know, just different people are posting different things. There's our grandson. Like, is he cute or what, right? <laughs> so there's lots of different things. You know, here, what advice would you give yourself, your younger self, if you could go back in time? And I, I've already answered this. You can see the date, April 30th. So I've already commented on this. But you can see there's 211 comments. So this is a group I'm part of. I could go into this group. I could, you know, if I click on this, I can get to all the comments. Right, I can see previous comments. So these are all people that are commenting in a motivational, well, she's a motivational speaker. This is just her personal timeline. But these are her friends who are commenting on her post. Most of these people are not my friends. So I could, you know, pick somebody here. You know, here's Tatiana. Let's, let's go and have a look at Tatiana. So I could click on her uh, name and it brings up her profile. I can go down here, I can look at what she's posting. So she posts a lot of motiva motivational, there's a picture, right? So she's doing pictures of herself, which is really important to do. So you can see she's trying to get into good shape, very positive. Uh, she's studied language arts. She's in Nashville, Tennessee, says she's a life coach. Very cool. I wonder what she's life coaching. And here we are, we can look at here, she does have her own website. So I would actually click on that and go and look at her website. Oh, I'm surprised it didn't. Uh, oh, I see she has a Facebook page that she's not actually using. Well, there's a something I can chat with her about. So if I wanted, I could add her as a friend. I'm not going to right now. But I could go down her page and I could comment on some of the uh, posts on her on her page if I wanted to. I think her page allows that. <clears throat> so I want to come back to the main Facebook page where, where all my timelines are. How did I end? Oh, I say I went too far. I want to go back to my main Facebook. I want to show you how to get to the groups. All right. So there's all your feed. You can come here and you can go and connect with a whole lot of people here. All right. But what I wanted to show you were the groups because there's a lot of people in these groups. So we're going to come over here on the left hand side are all these menus that get like there's so much information here. Right. But down here, these are all the Facebook uh, items. So I'm going to click see more. And I want to go to groups. All right. So I'm going to click on groups. There's a lot of people in groups posting lots of things. So this has suggested groups based on my activity. And yes, I'm a Coronation Street fan. So that's why that's up there first. <laughs> right. And here's a Abraham Hicks group. So these are suggested groups or these are in my feed. What I want to do is click on discover. I want to go and find some new groups. So if we come down here, it goes by categories or here's friends groups. So these are people that are my friends. These are groups that they're part of. I mean, here's a network marketing group that has 107,000 members with 300 posts a day. And uh, it shows that 470 of my friends are members. So I'm just going to click on this and open it in a new window so I can come back here easily. Did you see how I did that? I right clicked on the link with my right click on my mouse and it says open in a new tab. And so that brings it up here. So you can see that there's, uh, it shows people who are posting. What I love about this is that the people that are posting in the group, I could actually go and connect with these people. I can see the activity in the group. I can see if I want to be a part of this group. There's a lot going on here. People are posting lots of things. Doesn't don't know that it's being moderated that much, but I mean, that's what it's for. You can post your, your business. So you can see some people are posting um, motivational things. Some people are posting um, information. Here's a person posting um, a report, which is also a good thing. You could post CLB Learning here, your quick start guide. Um, here's, you know, post your business. So people are responding with their business, right? So there's lots of information. Nikki's got a video talking about um, 
calming down. Obviously, she must have tried a product or something that helped her calm down. So you might want to watch that video. It's a long video. So there's lots of people on here. This looks like a pretty active group. All right, so what you would do is you would come down here and find somebody who's posted something of interest to you. Um, you know, some people are posting that, you know, just to get pe other people to post and what they'll do is respond to them. And this is a good way to post into groups because then you would go now, this Griffin who posted this here to post your business would come back to all the people who posted and go and connect with them individually. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So if you find a group that's interesting, so a network marketing group, you could click join the group. Now, some of these are different. So this one you see asks you to answer questions. Do you own an Instagram account? See the pin post to explode it. Yes, ID Janet Legere. There we go. So different groups are gonna ask different questions. Some of them ask very specific questions. Some of them will ask you to agree to their terms and things like that. So that it's what that does is it gives the moderators an opportunity to check the people who are requesting to be a member uh, so that they can you know, maybe keep the group um, a little more professional or something like that. So here we go. It's my, I, you know, I've requested to be a member. I'm not a member right now, so I can't post or comment, I can like, okay? But I have to wait till I've joined the group, the group, when to wait until I'm approved, and then I would be able to come and post. So then I could come back here to more group. Those are friends groups, popular near me. But how about I wanna find some advertising groups? So did you see what I did there? Let's come back here. Sorry, guys. Uh, under categories, here we go, categories. There's a whole bunch of categories. You click this right arrow and it'll keep you going down, okay? To all the categories. But we're gonna go to the business category because I happen to know this is where all the advertising and what have you groups are. So here's that network marketing group that I just joined. So we have a lot of Canadian and Calgary groups because I live in Calgary. Uh, but if I keep going down, here we go. Advertise online business. There's 80,000 members, 400 posts a day. So we could go and look at this group. All right. So you can see people can post their ads here. People comment. People from all around the world. Mother's Day special. So here's somebody who's um, promoting Hempworks, very popular company. Um, you know, you could comment, you can go and check with that person. So I could go to Mindy's website. And I could have a look. Okay, so she's posting on her. Let's get some videos, lots of information here. And so I could come down here, I could, you know, comment and like some of her posts. You know, trying to do the right thing. I like these posts. Let's go check her. She's she's filled out her profile very thoroughly. She's got lots of information there. All right. So she's in a relationship. She went to high school. So she graduated in 2004, which was 16 years ago. So she's in her mid-30s. Just guessing, okay? And so now it tells me her age. Looks like she has a child. I could add her as a friend. So I'm gonna click that. I added her as a friend. Um, I could click on this and say, hi, Mindy. I saw your post about, oops, hemp works and thought I'd reach out. All right, so I'm just going to leave it at that. She'll probably get back to me, but there's a, you know, somebody new that I'm connected to. So if we come back, I haven't even joined the group. So did you see, I don't even have to join the groups. You could just go to the groups and find people and start having conversations with them. Like, and look at, look, she's already answered me. Here we go. All right. I'm great. Thanks. And you. <laughs> <laughs> so we could just continue this conversation, but you see how quick that was? Pretty awesome. And you know what? I can introduce her to CLB. She can use CLB to grow her Hempworks business. And, uh, you know, 
Uh, how long have you been with Hempworks? Here we go. All right. So let's come back here. I just want to refresh your memory. This is where you're going to find all the groups, right? Under under Facebook, under your end of the groups, you're going to go to um, to search for discover groups. Come down here. This one is all your business groups, and you're going to find where people are posting about their business. And those are the people you want to go and connect with. All right. We've got other millennial entrepreneur community. Yeah, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I mean, if I wanted, I could go to Canada Job and Job Seekers Job. I mean, think about this. If I went to a place that has people looking for work, I can connect with these people. Let's have a look at this group. All right, so it's a private group. I can't look at the group unless I join the group. So I'm going to join the group because I think this is really... Okay, so do you agree to answer all of the questions? Oh, goodness gracious. If the questions are not answered... Yes. Okay. Yes, I agree. Please state whether you are a job seeker or employer. No advertising, no LMLN posts. Thank you. All right. So you know what? I'm not going to join this group because I'm not an employer or a job seeker. Um, but there'll be groups that will be similar to this where people are looking for work and you can come in here and you know, see this is for Canada only. Please state where you live in Canada. And so if I wanted, I could say I was an employer. Maybe I'm looking for somebody to come and do some work. Or I could say I'm a job seeker. There we go. And I live in Calgary, whoops. Calgary, Alberta. And I could submit that. Now I'm not going to because I'm, you know, I'm really not looking for a job. So I, I'm trying to keep things on the up and up. I could come back to, yes, I'm going to exit. I don't want to join your group. <laughs> but it just shows you that you could go, you could find people there that are looking for work and connect with them, go to their timeline and um, reach out to them and see if they've considered using the internet to build their business. So there's all kinds of groups here that you can come and join. I see a lot of these seem to be Calgary. Here's networking entrepreneurs in Calgary. Um I could get to just general business ones as well. These are these are business, but it's picking up mostly what's in Calgary. So I could uh, bring that down even more if I wanted to. But there's, see, there's other groups here you could go to and uh, you may want to go and find a group if you have a hobby. So you want to go and, and get to that group that has the same hobby as you. Maybe you're into travel or style or food. We're all into food these days. And you could go to a group and you could join the group and connect with the people just like I did with Mindy. All right, so let me find the room. <laughs> I'm going to come back in the room. I'm going to stop sharing for right now. Come back to our presentation. See if you guys have any questions. It, you know, there's so many things that you can do uh, with this Facebook strategy. We haven't even touched on all of it. I'm simply suggesting that you. this is a place for you to reach out and find people that you can connect with and ask those questions. And I'm sure many of you already belong to groups, advertising groups. Go to those groups and find the people. P comment on their posts. Comment on what they're doing. Comment on um, the tools and the resources they're using. Ask them to be a friend. Send them a message. I'm not sure where my... Uh, relationship where Mindy will with Mindy will go but at some point here I will refer her to CLB learning and we'll see where that goes but you could you saw how simple that was right we'll just continue that conversation any questions on that anything I can help you guys with you know that if you are on Facebook and you're connecting with somebody and you're really not sure what to say reach out to us in our Telegram group. If I'm there, I'd be happy to help you. If I'm not there, chances are someone else will be there to do some brainstorming and help you to connect and communicate. Oh, Michael, thank you for saying that because that's exactly what I am hoping here. That's what I'm trying to do. That is what I'm doing, is create something that is so duplicatable. Copy and paste pretty much. And I mean, at some point you have put yourself into this and you have to start using your imagination and, you know, start, but that becomes a natural thing. Once you do the copy and paste and start having those conversations, you'll find that it gets easier and easier. 
So I hope this call helped today. I hope you got some ideas that are going to help you get out there and reach out to people because it's people that are going to grow your business. And yes, continue to get traffic to your capture page. Continue to, you know, buy those solo ads and, and get the leads coming through your system. But I'm going to tell you that if you can add this strategy to your marketing efforts every day, reach out. I, I'm going to say even just five people. Find five people on Facebook, new people that you can have a conversation with, that you say hello to. Five people every day and you use this strategy and you invite them to download your quick start guide. I can promise you, you're going to start to see growth in this business. You're going to start to grow your friends. You're going to start to get people who are interested and take action and do what you do. And that's what this business is all about. Well, you guys know we are very available. You can find us on our blog, find us on Facebook, find us in our group, uh, on Twitter, on Skype. You can get us in our Telegram group. Log into the CLB Learning Back Office. Click the link to join our Telegram group. We are here to help you. Reach out to us and let us do just that. Thank you for being here. We'll be here back here next week. Same time, same channel. Not sure what we'll be talking about next week, but I think it's going to be traffic and tracking. One of the most important areas that you need to be working with. You guys are awesome. I love you. Have an amazing day. Stay safe. Stay well. And see you next week. Bye for now.